Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. Uh, I've got to ask the question, what kind of quality assurance resources I can recommend? Um, and I can tell you there's quite a bunch actually I can recommend. And I think it is important if you're just starting quality assurance journey to surround yourself with quality assurance content, materials, authors, blogs, and read and read and read and learn and learn and learn. Um, nowadays, we surrounded by information 24-7. Most of us are glued to our phones all day long. They, we uh, go through TikTok, through Reels, we uh, read news, we look at the crypto uh, prices, we you know trade on the stock market, we play games and do a lot of different things 24-7, right? But um, if you're just starting your quality assurance career, I would suggest that you cut off about 90% of all non-related information for at least you know a year or so while you're getting into the industry and pick up as much quality assurance related information because it's going to help you to learn and grow faster. I mean it is absolutely fine to follow just one content creator and uh, try their tutorials and videos and learn through their courses but generally speaking if you will surround yourself with different content creator and look at different tools and learn about different information you will be uh, more um, you know efficient in the field of information QA related so when there are conversations uh, about quality assurance you will know what uh, people are talking about when you on the interview and you've been asked about one tool or another you will maybe you not even used it but you will be familiar about it so you can have a conversation about that um, i think it will really help you to grow now after you you know get good at quality assurance you start working in the field then you can you know uh double down and get to maybe several creators that you really like and enjoy and keep on following them and everything else is just going to be there you know it exists and if you need to look something up you can go there and look it up okay so i'm going to share a list of resources that you can get started with to kind of uh, flood your feed with all the quality assurance information uh, that you might need and then uh, you, you can do your own research and find many more others and add those that you like uh, all of the links for the content that I will be showing right now, they they will be in the description, so you can watch the video. I'm going to talk about each creator and um, each resource a little bit as I go through them and we look through them. But then you can open up the video description and you will have all the links and authors that I talked about, so you can check them out yourself and see what you like and just subscribe to something, follow along, and start learning and getting more additional information. Okay. All right. So here we are. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say, I do have a Patreon channel where I post a lot of uh, content or, you know, some of the content comes from the YouTube. Some of the content is articles that I, I publish, but there's also um, communication that we can have. If you're a Patreon uh, looking at your, I can look at your resume. I can talk about, uh, you know, your, uh, the job that you tried to look for and give you like general advices and so on. Uh, but following there uh, also helps me out as a content creator. So if you want to have additional information, the text feed, some information I'd be sharing on testing in a text format, uh, check out my Patreon as well. Now let's go to other content creators. One of the top two resources for testing is called uh, rapid software testing they do have a youtube channel now they also have a website um, rapidsoftwaretesting.com and uh, there are two creators so james back and michael bolton they have a lot of trainings that happening online they have like weekly monthly uh, things that you can participate in a lot of the resources that they post, I mean, they're, they're training classes, they're paid for, but this, I mean, the authors, they have like tons of experience in testing, um, a lot of great information to pick up. Now, in regards of uh, James Back, one of the, or Batch, I'm not sure how to pronounce correctly, sorry if I uh, butcher it, but um, if, if you follow along him uh, on LinkedIn, he posts a lot. He posts a lot about testing. Uh, he will be present in many testing topics on LinkedIn. You can see his comments. He's very active. Uh, you can communicate with him. So there's a lot of great information, wisdom you can pick up from him. 
Um, the next resource is Lambda Test. Uh, so even though this is mostly a product for automation, but they do have a blog where you have a lot of authors talking about different things in quality assurance, automation, um, approaches to automation. And so there's so many different categories you can pick from, right? So um, tons and tons and tons. Um, the next one is uh, David uh, David Dilovich. Uh, sorry again if I butcher that, <laughs> but uh, he created software testing weekly. So I recommend following him on LinkedIn and uh, subscribing to his uh, software testing weekly.com. So it, it is essentially an aggregator. Uh, where he every week he posts an issue with different authors. They talk about testing types of testing, different tools. So um, by just following him, you will have a range view of different topics and authors weekly that talk about testing. So this can be like your go to read to kind of see what's up, uh, what's new in, in the quality assurance world. Uh, the next one is Playwright, but not the tool itself, but Playwright community. So they have a Discord, they have LinkedIn, they have YouTube. Uh, if you subscribe to their YouTube, they have a lot of conferences where they talk about uh, testing, but they also post all the new updates and what's new in the Playwright. So if you want to learn if uh, maybe Playwright added some feature that can be helpful to you that you can start implementing at work, uh, definitely follow their um YouTube channel. And one thing that is very good with them, and, and they have a very active community uh, on Discord. If you join their server and you have like questions about Playwright, you implement something that you have trouble with, you can ask questions there, they will help out. So there's a lot of communication happening about Playwright uh, in the Discord there, right? Uh, the next, next author is uh, Dmitry Shishkin. So I've known him for many years and he's doing a lot of great content on quality assurance. Uh, a lot of his courses are like top course in Udemy for automation, especially like with Selenium. Uh, he also has a blog where he talks about different events, meetups and kind of ideas and testing and so on and so on. Uh, so definitely recommend following along. Um, the next one is Bonder Academy and we did a little interview with him on my channel. We talked about uh, what he does, about Playwright, the, the automation tools that are trending, why they're trending and so on. So he has um, a YouTube channel, uh, but he also has his own page. Uh, you can find it on YouTube channel right here, bonderacademy.com, where he has an actual courses that you can purchase directly from him. Uh, plus he has several successful courses on Udemy uh, that you can pick up. Uh, the next channel is uh, Evgeny Kim, and I've also known Evgeny for a while. I have a video with him uh, on his YouTube channel. Now, the pretty cool thing about his YouTube channel, he has a lot of mock interviews. So he talks about recruiting, recruitment, because uh, that's one of the things that he's doing, um, and quality assurance, that's the other thing that he's doing. So he has a lot of interview preparation and mock interview videos. So if you just go and watch those, uh, I think you're going to pick up a lot of important uh, things if you're preparing for the interview process, like uh, questions that typically are asked, uh, what kind of uh, interview process looks like. So mock is essentially like practice interview and you can watch plenty of videos that uh, have this format on his channel. Um, the next one is Naveen Automation Lab. So he's been out there for, for a long time. He has a lot of great content and automation. So he has tons of different things that you can pick up and start learning automation from the channel. Um, Test, the next one is the Testing Academy. So I also enjoy this resource. It, the Testing Academy has a playlist that are related to learning quality assurance and automation and different tools. But plus, uh, similar to me, he is posting like different news and uh, bugs that were discovered, The what is going on with the job market and so on and so on. So it's like a general good information resource, not only related to like hands-on implementation of testing, but testing what's going on in the world of testing in general, right? Or tech world. Um, and uh, uh, the last one is Testing Funda by Zishan Azkar. Again, sorry if I butcher that. Uh, so he has a lot of courses and uh, on automation, on Gmeter, Python. So there's a lot of different playlists, Playwright and so on and so on. Um, once you start following different creators once you start absorbing information i mean 
it is impossible to follow everything right all the time and be like top notch and go through all the courses and all the learnings i mean obviously you know there's no not enough time in a day to do that but the thing is when you're starting if you follow multiple sources and you kind of cut off all other information or most of other information that is not QA related, you will start really quickly understanding what the testing is all about, what kind of tools you should be using, things like that. And um, over time, I mean, you'll follow most of them. Over time, you'll pick the ones that you really like uh, because everyone is different in the way how they teach, you know, what they talk about and the content you might not like or not like, uh, like or not like. Some of things might be too complex. Some of the things that are there might be too easy. So you will find what really suits you and then you you will be probably closely following in some time, like a year or so, once you're in the field, maybe two, three, maybe four creators. Uh, but in general, I think it's very important to start surrounding yourself with information related to quality assurance if you want to get into the field, right? Um, as I said many times, there's really no degree in quality assurance, right? It's really hard to go to the college and get a degree as a quality assurance, uh, maybe more into quality control, but not really quality assurance, right? The closest you get to quality assurance in the college, if you go and do like four years, five years degree, would be computer science. Uh, and then you kind of transition from the development or junior developer, you can transition into the quality assurance field. But you can also transition to that like through boot camps, or you can transition to quality assurance like through uh, maybe project management, if that's something or, or, or other tech related IT uh, professions. But the, 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 the important thing is there's really no kind of, hey, go to the university, and start doing quality assurance way. There's, I mean, maybe there is some, but not as visible as any other tech uh, professions out there. So by following creators, by following blogs, by consuming information, by learning tools and kind of self studying, self educating, uh, going to boot camps this this is like the the actual way how you can get and break into the profession okay so hopefully uh this video was helpful again all of the authors and creators the links are in the description to this video so just expand it um and check them out see what you like uh, follow them and uh, yeah this was alex you say days hopefully this video was helpful and bye bye